Animals are a part of nature, like humans. They sometimes face danger and might end up in unwanted situations, as they have bad days too. And today we will show you some of the animal rescue moments shared online. The number of starling pigeons in Europe is declining, and now they are being released. In fact, starlings are known for their iridescent feathers. This kangaroo is trapped in a deep pit and cannot get out, and this man, Manfred, used a tranquilizer dart to safely secure him. <laughs> Once out, he checks on the kangaroo he's named Brad Pitt. After a week of recovery, Brad was released back into the bush. He was going out and surrounded by a group of raccoons is too happy. Oh my god! <laughs> One day in Australia, a kangaroo was stuck in a wire fence and that kind-hearted man came to rescue him. There's nothing better than watching a man sharing water with thirsty animals like this time. You might think that it was a camel that can live without water for days. Actually, this is a llama and other lamoids do not have the characteristic camel humps. They are slender bodied animals and have long legs and long necks, short tails, small heads and large pointed ears. That huge turtle was stuck among the rocks, and these kind people came to rescue it in Bali. Imagine being a dog owner and this happens in the elevator. But thankfully, a cop saved the day. Please pay attention. When you're out with your dog, this could have gone wrong if the cop wasn't there. This man noticed something was going wrong and looked close. There was a baby deer stuck under the bush. Little Fell was stuck in pointless netting. Hope she's gonna be all right. It must have hurt him so much. Spread the awareness and hopefully stop this pointless waste of money and learn to coexist with what's around us. Living with wildlife should be a breeze. A scared puppy just needed some affection. If you are going to approach a dog that doesn't know you, do not do so with an opened up hand. Your hand should be in a fist with fingers downward, like you're going in for a fist bump. Let the dog see the hand, sniff, and judge if it's okay with you going any further. And this is how this story ended. The puppy got a new family. This man. Horses are companions of humankind's from early ages of this planet. For more than 5,000 years, horses were the only means for people to travel faster than walking pace on land. They revolutionized war, hunting, transportation, agriculture, trade, commerce, and recreation. But sometimes they face some challenges as these couple of horses were down and these men saved them.
Brandon is in Saskatchewan for work, and he shared this beautiful moment of him saving the cat in that freezing cold outside the street. Owner must have been so worried about losing this cute kitten. Why are you out here? Why are you out here? It's too cold for kitty. I guess kittens live outside in the winter out here. It's too cold for him. Yeah, you're very cold. Yeah. Saskatchewan is sitting in the center of the prairies, where in extreme winters, it feels like the temperature reaches even below minus 50 degrees Celsius, which is even colder than the South Pole. The main reason why Saskatchewan is so cold, the southern lobe of the polar vortex aloft grazing south. In this kind of bad weather, most of us only think about ourselves, but this man just saved the life of that bird standing there without help. An ice walking machine is used to work for the department. It's a multi-use tool. You can use it for snow, ice, or water rescue. Certainly didn't use it every day or even every year, but it was handy to have when they used it to rescue that deer. Hooves and ice don't mix, and that deer just learned a lesson. Oh, we got air support too. Get up, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Oh, there you go. There you go. Found that little hermit crab frantically searching for an empty shell, and they offered him a nice new big one, and he loved his new home. You would lie and say I did great. Matt rescues a baby shark stranded on the beach during low tide. He knows that the number of sharks are decreasing, and sharks are at the top of the food chain. In other words, they are top predators, at least the ones most people know of. And all that I'm left with is a dry throat. I lose my head when you call me up. Mission was completely successful. The baby shark was saved, and this man is a true hero after all. These humane people saved a kangaroo from drowning, and to appreciate the help, the kangaroo thanked these guys for saving her. Watch till the end to see the handshake. When I was young. A man came from nowhere to save the dog and didn't know where to go. You can see the cracks start to appear almost as soon as he steps on that area. And the exact second his foot leaves it, the whole place just falls into the flood water. Nowadays we're all so spread out. Every year, dozens of deer and other animals are injured and killed after getting caught in man-made netting, with fruit netting being exceptionally deadly to hedgehogs. Sometimes deer find themselves in trouble because they have big antlers. That man wanted to rescue the deer from the man-made nets. Let's watch to the end to see how he saved him. He was to the left or the right of the net. 
you know, you kind of direct them where to go. Basically, like if you're corralling chickens into a barn, it goes with any animal, even small children. But if he was to the right or the left, he, first instinct is they want to get away from you. They don't want to come at you. Very rarely have I had one try to come at me. But um, you just make them feel like they can't take an inch. You have a small, very small window to make the few cuts you need to loosen it up or possibly get him out. So, but. Well, all the, the main areas of the net, like the thick rope and, and twine in the antlers were successfully snipped and now it's just trying to get him out of that. And there he goes. See ya. There you go. That's why my knife's dull. <laughs> Buck gets stuck in a mud hole and saved by that man. Peeling back the layers of the part I've been playing for you. Used to be so easy Now I get queasy When things start going wrong And in this life we all know that the starting is the hardest part Rescuing a dog stuck below the river, they tossed some ropes if he could bite and be lifted up to the land. Come on, buddy. You can make it for sure.